Hi, I am Nidhi Chanani and I am here um, to teach you a little bit about some drawing basics. I figured this is a good time to kind of share my knowledge about um, some basics in drawing um, for ideal for kids who are interested in drawing. It could be that you're um, three or four, maybe four and up. And so um, I wanted to share a little bit about who I am before I get started and um, show you how to draw some basic animals. Um, so my name is Nidhi Chanani, as I said, and I am an author illustrator. So I have um, written and illustrated a number of books and a number of books that will come out um, in the future. So out now um, is um, for young readers is a board book that I wrote and illustrated called Shabrathri Dost or Goodnight Friend and it's a bilingual Hindi English book. You don't need to speak Hindi to read it because it's also in English. Um, but there is the Hindi script so if you read Hindi it's there and if you don't um, it's also romanized, um, so you can try to try your try um, to speak Hindi, which is always nice to hear different sounds um, when you're young and all the time. Uh, so I also illustrated this picture book. I will be fierce, uh, written by B Birdsong and illustrated by me. And upcoming later this year is Binis Diwali, um, which is written by Thrifty Umrigar and illustrated by me. And last but definitely not least um, is my graphic novel that I wrote and drew, which is 167 pages of drawings. So I know a little bit um, about drawing. So I am going to start off with one of the things that I get requested a lot at school visits, um, which is to draw an animal. And so I am going to draw a cat. And so one of the things that I like to say um, about drawing is that drawing at the end of the day is just shapes. Um, and so knowing what shapes go together and when to stop and um, how to plan out those shapes is what makes what we recognize as a cat. Um, <clears throat> and so what I always do is even when I draw people, I start with a circle. Um, so let's start with just a circle. I'm going to leave it a little open on the bottom here. Um, now one of the key things about when you know you're going to continue the shape down, if you leave it open on the bottom versus like a closed circle, it looks like it's more together, right? Um, so instead of just a circle on top of a square um, or a rectangle, which is what we're going to draw. <coughs> Excuse me. So before that, let's do two triangles. And on either side of this circle, and just connect them down. So we already have something that looks like a cat. So then I want you to take these either side of this opening, however you want to draw your cat. Maybe you're going to do it out here to be like a little bit of a thicker cat and a thinner cat. I'm going to go a little thin and I'm just going to go two straight lines down. And then we have our cat body. So we have the head, the ears, the cat body, just with a few lines. Now I'm going to do some half lines within this cat body for the feet. So I'm going to go one and two. And then if you just do kind of a little loop at the end here, they look like feet, okay? Um, and since they have four feet, uh, you're going to want to also put the feet on the inside. So here I'm going to go, it's a little bit more fine-tuned here, but you want to take that same kind of half circle that you did on these two half lines, and on these full lines, you're going to go half circle in, half circle in. Okay, so we have that bottom um, of the cat, and then take the line on either side, really. Um, you could put it on this. I don't know why I always want to do it on the right. But I'm going to take that and make a squiggly line, kind of like a backwards, uh, or kind of like an S, um, and that's the tail. So already, we have a pretty good looking cat. Now, the key here is we want to put those facial features in. So one of the things to know, um, and this is for, you know, maybe if you're a little bit older, if you're younger, it's just about putting those, the eyes and the mouth in, anywhere. 
But if you're a little older, one of the things that I like to think about is the closer the features are together, kind of the cuter it is. The wider apart they are, so if the eyes are far from each other and the mouth is far from the eyes, um, the more space the features take on the face, even if the face is big, um, it makes it look <clears throat> less appealing um, and less inviting. And so I kind of tried to put the eyes pretty close together. So we'll just do two big circle eyes here. Okay. And you can see they're not perfect. Um, and it's okay because I can fix it. I can just kind of add this. And we have the cat kind of looking. We're going to fill that in here. Cat's looking a little maybe confused. So then we want to do a triangle here for the nose. Okay. And the cat's looking pretty cute now. And then we'll do the line down from that triangle for the mouth. Now that's good as it is, but if you want to make your cat happy or sad, you can add some more lines either up or down um, to continue that cat. Now, if this was a real school visit and I was drawing this, I would usually ask the audience to tell me how they want their cat, sad or happy, but I'm just going to go with happy. Um, and so I'm going to just do two lines up from here. And there we have it. We have a cat. Now, in addition to this drawing, so, you know, you have the basics. You have circle, triangles, circle, circle, triangle, and lines, and then one squiggly line. But... As I like to say, you know, really drawing is just the basics of drawing is learning how to draw shapes. Um, and depending on, you know, how comfortable you are, how old you are, um, that can be easy or challenging. But just planning out your shapes and placing them in the right place, you can make something that is a cat. So that's pretty awesome, I think, because it's very easy um, to understand shapes, but it's a little bit more of a challenge to figure out, well, where do these shapes go and how do I put them together to make what I want to make? Um, and so in addition to that, if you wanted to add on, you could also add more personality and more character to this cat. So <clears throat> we could give the cat, just with some, some small triangles here, just some little kind of fang-like qualities. Um, and then uh, you can even add here maybe a collar with another circle. Maybe give the cat a name. I'll leave that up to you. You can also add some whiskers, just some lines off the face. Right? Already that cat is looking a little more lively and has more personality, especially with those little tiny fangs. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could get really silly with it. You could even... You know, you could add maybe a tiny top hat. So that's just a couple lines and a little circle hat bottom there. And I'll just fill that in. And see, that cat already has a different personality now. Um, so that's my uh, kind of basic on how to draw a cat. So thanks for joining me, and I will be posting some other videos on how to draw some other animals. Thanks again.